I do not shave my legs. Weird conversation to me to have with my parents. And I started shaving my legs, but none of the hair was coming off because it was super dull. So for a long time, shaving my legs was just associated with embarrassment and pain and shame and secrecy. But I did it for years and years and years. Rather recent and one of the hottest record hop hits of them all. I've talked about cognitive dissonance before. It's when a person holds two conflicting beliefs, or they have a belief and they perform an action that conflicts with that belief. So within them, they hold and experience two clashing things and it creates like mental distress. And so in order to alleviate that distress, they rationalize or explain why they hold these clashing ideas. So the two clashing beliefs and ideas that I had were that people should express however they want, but women need to shave their legs. Those don't totally gel together, because what if a woman doesn't want to shave her legs? So my rationale, my explanation that I would tell myself was that, well, leg hair is unhygienic, and that's just crossing the line. I mean, you, leg hair, you need to groom yourself more. But that's so untrue, that makes zero sense. Men have lots of leg hair, and no part of us thinks that's unhygienic. And, and how does their sex or their gender make that any different? It doesn't. If you shower, then your legs are clean, and your leg hair's clean. So leg hair doesn't equal gross or unhygienic or unclean or lazy, it just equals hair. So because I was feeling this outside pressure from society, even though it didn't mesh with what I felt in my heart, I just found ways to explain it. Everything is hunky-dory now. I don't shave my legs. Grace doesn't care. People are fine with it. Mostly because I don't have a lot of leg hair. Here's a shot of my legs far away. I don't think you can see the leg hair. Here's a shot from closer up. Like, now you can kind of see it. But it's not super thick, which helps me get away with it, which is stupid. Because even if I had super thick foresty leg hair, I should be able to get away with it. My friends do sometimes say weird things. They are kind of where I get the idea that I'm getting away with it because they say, oh, your hair is so blonde, your hair is so fine. You can, you can totally get away with that. But I don't think they realize how strange that is to say. Why is being a woman and being able to not shave your legs something to get away with? It implies that that woman is breaking some kind of rule. But I just said on my own that I can get away with it. So clearly that is like, become internalized and ingrained within me. Some of my girlfriends also say, I wish I could do that. And that always baffles me because I'm like, you can. <laughs> like, it's like when women look at my hair and they say, that's so cute. I wish I could chop off all my hair. And I'm like, you can. <laughs> and I get it, it's a big step and it's scary and yet you have to deal with the ramifications of how others react and even if that really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, it's still hard to deal with petty bullshit in the moment. So, I mean, I get it. But really, it shows how convinced everyone is that there are these rules we have to follow. And if you, for some reason, don't follow the rules and it's kind of okay, then you're getting away with something. And other people are jealous and wish they could do that. But everybody can actually just do whatever they want. To be fair though, those comments from my friends and other IRL people are pretty infrequent. What I actually get more of is weird stereotyping and hate from the internet when I talk about not shaving my legs. People automatically assume the reason I'm not shaving my legs is because I'm clearly a super feminist dyke. But that couldn't be further from the truth. When I really boil it down, the biggest and most main reason I don't shave my legs is totally personal and totally intrinsic. I just do it to make me happy. Just because no part of me feels a compulsion to shave my legs. That's really the bare bones of it. I don't want to shave my legs because I just don't, and so I don't. But people assume I have this agenda. Like I'm doing it to seem brave or feel special or make a statement about gender roles and empowering women. And yeah, if I happen to do that in the process of being myself, that's cool. That's a dope byproduct. But that is not my main reasoning for not shaving my legs. And I hate when people put me in this box of having an agenda and feeling like a special feministy snowflake. Let me remind you that I didn't shave my legs when I had long hair, when I presented really femmy. So it's not about me trying to be this non-binary cliche or this 
ultra lesbian. I just don't shave my legs because I don't want to. But a lot of people have a very hard time believing that, which is such a bummer to me. They're so jaded, they think all social justice warriors do everything to send a message. It is inconceivable to some people that people just do things to make themselves happy. It's always to be unique. It just goes to show how conditioned they are by society to think something like no girl in their right mind would actually want to not shave their legs. They must be doing it for attention. That is the only possible explanation. No. No, I actually don't want any attention. I'm making a video about it now, after years and years and years and years, because I really dig this whole body talk segment, and I think maybe it'll help some people, but I don't go around <laughs> in life advertising that I don't shave my legs, because it's hella awkward. It's still kind of somewhat my secret. And because I'm making this video, a lot of anti-feminists won't believe that, but... That's just how it is. It's a catch-22. It's a lose-lose. But part of me gets it. It is different. I am in the minority, so sometimes people need a little extra explanation. So let me talk about why I like my leg hair. I like my leg hair because it makes me feel strong. For some reason, I associate leg hair with strength. Maybe it's like a Samson thing. <laughs> I don't know. My leg hair feels tough to me and strong and tough feel cool. I associate that with adventure for some reason, and a strong, tough, adventurous person to me is confident, and confident equals sexy. So those are all the things I feel when I see my leg hair. And if we compare that to how I feel when I look down and see my legs post them being shaved, those feelings include being dainty and feminine and also fake and a fraud and doing things for others. And none of those things feel me. I don't feel feminine or dainty, uh, and I don't like feeling fake. So maybe that helps people understand a little bit why I like my leg hair? I don't know. Anyway, it's always cool feeling less alone, so I thought just for one day maybe we could have an Instagram leg hair pride afternoon. So if you want to follow me, I'll be posting pics of my hairy legs, and if you want to post some pics of your hairy legs and tag me, I will repost those posts. And it can be cool, and we can all be hairy and confident together. So actually, I suppose for the next couple hours I do have an agenda. It's to make people feel comfortable being who they are. But after that, I probably won't talk about my leg hair for a very long time. Alrighty, okay, bye!